Okay, so this is something definitely a little bit different from my channel because as you guys know, I'm not a sneakerhead. Hey guys, it's TMS Style. I'm Jose Zuniga and for this week's video, we're going to be discussing an alternative to the Yeezy Boost. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Jose, get out of here. You're not even a sneakerhead. Why are you going to be talking about this? And you're right, I'm not. And I've said that many times before. However, I do want to thank my good friend Mehul for giving me the idea for this video and also shedding some light in the, into the sneakerhead community and what's going on today. So if you are a sneakerhead, you know that the Yeezy pretty much has taken over the sneaker community and probably one of the most popular sneakers or coveted sneakers today. About a week ago, I think the 750 boost dropped in the gum sole. It's a great model, gum sole. I think it goes in the dark, so people are going crazy for it, and they're also willing to pay up to $2,000 for it. So when, when I heard that, I was like, you gotta be crazy. I would never pay $2,000, not even for a beautifully crafted leather shoe, let alone a sneaker. But again, I'm not a sneakerhead. So when I was talking to my friend, he, showed, he directed me to Aldo. So apparently Aldo did sort of like a knockoff of the Yeezy Boost. It's essentially almost the same design, and so I figured I wanted to do this video to shed some light onto this and see what you guys thought in the comment section below. So what you have here is the Aldo Alalansime whatever. I'll have it linked below in case you guys are interested. But to me, honestly, it looks like a creative reaction sneaker. That's, again, I'm not a sneakerhead. So they look the same to me. And if you compare it next to the Yeezy Boost 750, it's almost identical. I think the biggest difference is just the sole. Other than that, the sneaker looks almost identical, and of course, the quality is what you can expect from Aldo already. So if you've had Aldo shoes, quality is comparable. It's not over the roof, but it's not dirt cheap as, as well. It's a sneaker that at most will probably last you around a year to two, you know, with heavy wear. So that's something I just wanted to show you. I wanted to wear them because honestly, I would never see myself in Yeezy Boost before or anything similar of nature and style, but I'm always into evolving my style and changing it up a bit. So I wanted to wear them and show you guys how they look once you put them on and see what you guys think. So while we're in this video, I figured it's actually a pretty good idea to address the Yeezy. I've had various comments be before in the comment section of what I think about them personally. So I've looked at the whole collection and I think some of them are pretty much hideous in my opinion. I think the 950 are hideous. But the Yeezy 350, which is probably the most popular of his collection, according to my understanding, is the nicer shoe. I, in my opinion, I think it's great casually, but to pay $400 retail for it, not worth it, let alone 2,000 secondhand market. So in my opinion, Yeezys, I wouldn't recommend buying them unless somehow miraculously they came down to $100. I think there's a lot more better options that make you look great and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. As for what I think about these Aldo ones, well, if you're a diehard sneakerhead, you probably, I don't know if this is a no-go or a good thing if to find a cheaper alternative. To me, I just find it, it's like you found a cheaper version of something. So to give you the way I see it, again, I'm not a sneakerhead, but you know, you got the Common Projects, which is a very nice shoe. If you've ever seen it, it's all white leather sneaker. If you know me, you know that's my go-to sneaker. I have about five pairs of basically the same model. But then you have Frank and Oaks model, which is almost identical, but it costs about a third of the price. Of course, I went with that model, and that's the model that I have. So that's what I think about it. So I'll have it linked below. Let me know what you guys think about Yeezys. And that's it for my opinion, if it's worth anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out if you're interested in that style and want a cheaper alternative. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and see you guys next time.